Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial from Crystal Tuts. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use security keys to log in securely to your online accounts such as Google, Facebook, Dropbox, and even your Windows. So you're probably wondering, what is a security key? Well, basically it's like a flash drive that stores your credentials and it's mostly used to log in as a second step after you enter your passwords on those accounts. So just insert your key, tap it, and you log into your account. So if you're interested in this topic, just follow with me and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for new tech videos. Now let's get started. First of all, you need a security key. You can buy them from Amazon. It costs about $18. There are other others that cost $40 to $50 or you can buy them from Ubico, the company that makes them. I've bought one and I have this uh, YubiKey 4 in its old form. It was called YubiKey Edge. Anyway, you can buy any one of them. It will work the same, it's just different features. After you buy your security key, now let's use them to secure our online accounts. Let's start with Google. So you'll go to myaccount.google.com and click on sign in and security. You'll scroll down and you'll find here in this area two step verification. If it's not already on, you will click on turn on and it will ask you to verify you by your phone number and it will enter a code then it will uh, let you to the next step. In my case, I've already turned on two-step verification. I'll just click here, re-enter or verify my uh, password, then sign in. After I sign in, I'll just scroll down and I'll find here security key. I'll click on add security key, then click on next. Now I'll insert my key into my laptop, then tap the disk in the middle. Uh, it says security key registered. That's it. I'll just click on done Now whenever I'll log in in a different computer to my Google account I'll just enter my password and it will ask a second verification step and I'll just insert my security key tap it Then it will let me log in Now let's move on to Facebook you'll go to um, your settings from here from this drop menu you click on sit settings then security then click on uh, login approvals then add security key then you click on add key uh, I've already inserted it so I'll just tap the, the disk it will ask to re-enter the password and click on submit. I'll keep it. I'll keep the name as it is, uh, YubiKey Edge, and click on continue. Then click on enable two-factor authentication. Then enable and finally close. That's it. You're all set now. And as in Google, I'll just uh, enter my uh, password and it will ask for a second step. I'll insert the security key and tap the disk. Now. Let's move on to Dropbox. I'll click from this drop menu here and click again on settings. Then on this tab, security tab, and it will show two-step two verification. It's disabled for me. I'll click on enable, then get started. I'll enter my password, then click on next. As in Google, I'll set up first the text message or the verification from, by mobile. So I'll just click on next. I'll enter my mobile phone. Then click again on next. I'll receive a text message from Dropbox and I'll re-enter uh, the six digit code. Then again, click on next. It asks for another mobile phone, but it's optional. I'll just click on next. Now I'll click on enable two-step verification. Then click on done. 
now that I've enabled the two-step verification it shows the security key under here I'll just click on add then re-enter my password then click next then begin setup I've already inserted my key so key inserted it asks to tap it now on just tap the disk now it's all completed just click on finish and again as in Google and Facebook whenever I log into my Dropbox it will, I will enter my password then it will ask for a second step verification where I insert my key then tap it and I will be able to log into my Dropbox account now moving on to your windows we'll just go to uh, the website again and click on products service and software we will download a um, a tool I'll click we'll click on tools and utilities then download the computer logon tools I've already done that so I'll just install it but before that you will need to install .NET Framework 3.5 I'll provide the, the download link down in the description so I'll just first install the .NET Framework 3.5 Now that I've installed .NET Framework 3.5, I'll install the Ubico Windows logon. So double click it, install, yes, then I'll wait for the installation, next, 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 then close. I'll click on OK, then we'll launch the application. From here, from my start menu, YubiKey Logon Administration, then click Yes. I'll click on Yes. Now I'll reboot my computer, then I will continue the video. Hi again, now that I've restarted my computer, I'll just go one more time to the YubiKey Logon Administration, click on Yes. If you can see here, select User to Configure, I'll select the one user. When you click on configure, it will sh it probably it will probably show a um, an error like this one failed challenge response. To fix this, you need to download a the YubiKey personalization tool. I'll put the link to download it in the description. So you insert your key, then open the tool, then you go to challenge response, then click on this option here, then select configuration slot two and write configuration it will give you a file save it wherever you want to save it then you, clo you close the, the, the tool now you go back to UVK logon administration then you click configure it will say successfully configured UVK logon now click on yes then it will, will test it Okay, correct response. Now we click on OK. Everything is working. Now whenever we log on to uh, Windows on the lock screen, you will just tap on the, uh, the disk on the key and it will let you log on to your uh, Windows. For Windows 10 users, there is an easier way to set up your key to log in to your Windows. You just install one uh, application from the Windows Store. It's called UBK for Windows Hello. I've already installed it, so I'll, I'll launch it. As you can see, it shows, it shows no UBK registered. I'll click on register, then continue. It tells me that my key is not supported. That's because this method supports only the newer keys, the newer models, which are uh, UBK for UBK Neo and newer versions my key is an older version it's yubikey edge and edge and so this method is not supported but if you have yubikey neo or yubikey 4 and it still shows this message you just need to install an application or a tool called yubikey neo manager you install it i'll provide the link to download this application also in the description so you install this one you insert your key and click on change mode here and you'll find an additional checkbox here for CCID you'll check that box and click on OK and you'll remove your uh, your YubiKey 
After that, you will resume your installation or your uh, setup for the YubiKey for Windows Hello. I'll provide the link for more detailed written tutorial on how to continue the installation since I don't have the uh, I don't have the YubiKey Neo or YubiKey 4 to show you how. Well, that was all for this video. Hope it wasn't that complicated. If you do have questions, please send me or comment on down below. And if you have, if you encountered any problems, I'll be happy to explain or to show you how to resolve them. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for my channel for more tech videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Goodbye.